Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim. And he says like this, Everything we've been speaking about, as we mentioned yesterday, that you have obligations to give Teichacha, rebuke another Jew if you see them doing the wrong thing. And if you end up speaking the Lashon Hara, listening to the Lashon Hara, and not saying a word, you transgress that as well. That's also if all you're doing, or that person is doing, is speaking negative between the two of you. It's just the two of you. Nevertheless, there's still an obligation to rebuke. But if you connect yourself to a group of people that are wicked and they're masters of Lashonar, they speak Lashonar all the time, because you want to share disparaging words about this person that they're talking about, or you just want to sit and listen to all the juicy gossip. You also transgress a positive commandment which says, cling to them. What does that mean? The sages teach us, You have a mitzvah to cling, to get close to those people that are the, the wise ones of Torah. And you do anything you can to sit in their presence, to sit amongst them, to be able to learn from them. Even if it means just to eat and drink with the Talmud Chacham. You make your business dealings with the Torah scholars. Any way that you can connect to them, stay connected because that's how you're going to learn how to be a Yid. Everything, as the Chavetz Chaim is saying, is to learn from their actions. And therefore, someone who does the opposite. You connect yourself to a group of people that are Rishoyim, that are wicked in the eyes of Hashem, because they sit around, they speak Lashon Har all day long. Oivar al mitzvah say, Zu, certainly, such a person is transgressing this mitzvah of Ubay Sidbak, get close to Tamil Chachamim. And the Chavetz Chaim adds in the notes the following Afilim ein loy el milis chamir, even if you have no one to connect to. Meaning, let's say you live in a town. There's no Tamil Chachamim. You can't find Torah scholars around. So what should you do? Sit by yourself. Don't go, but you have nobody else to be friends with. Kid goes to school. He can't find good friends, so he becomes friends with all the bad kids. So you tell the kids, so then don't be friends with them. It's hurting you. Kemashom Rabbi Seinazah, our sages teach us, and the Vilna Goyen brings this down in his famous letter, Korega Varega Shadam Chaisim Piv, any moment that a person keeps their mouth closed, Zoycha Bishvaloi Lor Agonos, they will merit a hidden light, She'en Kol Malach Ubiria Yochal Hashad, that no angel, no creation in the world could ever imagine how much reward you're going to get for not speaking Lashon Hara. And therefore says the Chavetz Chaim, if you're in a situation where you simply cannot find the right group of friends to be around, and your only choice is the Anshe Resha, Ubali Lashonara, people that are very well versed in how to speak Lashonara, they can go for hours on end talking negatively about another person, stay away, go off by yourself, Ubailim Pivim, keep your mouth closed, because you will see, maybe not in this world, but in the world to come, you will see an enormous amount of schar, of reward, that is waiting for the person who kept their mouth closed in this world. Even the malachim, the angels who are in Shemaim and see the reality of Shechina, they see the reality of Torah, of Ruchnius, of reward, even they can't fathom how much reward you're going to get for distancing yourself from the wrong people, staying by yourself if need be, or at least v'bay sidbak, Find a way to connect yourself with Tamil Chachamim, with Sadiqim, with people who are living their lives in the way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants, because in that schuz you'll learn from them, you'll elevate yourself, you'll shape and form your own behavior in a way that is pleasing in the eyes of Hashem, 
And in that way, you'll be zeichet to reward that even the angels cannot fathom. Have a wonderful day.